to someone as I'm sure it is I, this could look like an exercise in ingenuity, but it is a symbolic representation of the crucifixion and apparently crystal clear. It's one of the works being exhibited in Cork by Brian Lawler and John Verling, the first two Irish artists to mount in Ireland an exhibition of four types of pop art. Brian Lawler, is this really honest? It seems to me that it's a few door locks, a scaffold clamps, a bit of wood, a few nails. Is it a gimmick or must it be taken seriously? No, it isn't a gimmick at all. I have used these nails and cl clamps and other pieces of timber, or everyday objects, as symbols of what I wish to represent. These nails here and the scroll at the top represent the ordinary symbols of the crucifixion with which you are familiar. And these are used as manacles and this as representing perhaps agony or something writhing in pain. This is the image I want to get across. Now, your, your work mirrors the, the, the pop art uh, trend. I think you'd agree with that. Well, I wouldn't specifically describe it as pop art. Pop art is concerned with very much the images of today using things like tins, you know, bean tins and oh, hamburgers or anything our flags, national flags, for a painting. But we are concerned also with um, social problems and protesting against these. These are the themes of our painting. Yes, I've noticed that. Does this suggest that the, the whole concept of the artist has changed? Well, no, the art, specific artists always have been concerned with these problems. But we are perhaps treating them in a different way from which they have been treated previously. What has been the reaction of the people to your work? In Cork? Well, the reaction has been interest. Certainly, uh, most of the people coming have been interested. But in many cases, they have not um, understood very well. Uh, they have not had the um, terms to criticise this work because they have not seen it before. They're unfamiliar with it. But surely it's, it's the object of an artist to, uh, to, to make his, uh, uh, the viewers understand his work. Uh, if you can't do that, surely you failed. Yes, I think this is so. But people, when they look at these works, you know, they w need to look at them more than once to think about them. Then I think it becomes clear. As with this work, it requires consideration. Hands off Vietnam, Camden Town, no blacks, violence, disarmament, long hair, PJ Poby, the Beatles. John Burling, are you cashing in on the Paris marches and the Paris ballads of the 1960s? No, that's not true. These paintings are a representation of the time that we live in. And they represent the things which are important in the world of today, uh, like the threat of nuclear war, the pop music, and the drug addiction, and all these things which are causing such a controversy at the moment. Um, each painting tells uh, its own story. and will be as important in uh, this type of painting will be as important in perhaps 300 years time as paintings 300 years old are today as a record of their own time. Take this painting for instance. It shows that between the world of the statesman and the movie star, there is the world of the drug addict and the, and the segregation and Negro problem. This painting is called Picasso's Picasso. It shows the difference between Picasso as an artist and Picasso as a family man with his children. This is called a city. It's a symbolic representation of a city. And, and what's it made of? Uh, it's made of uh, various tins, paint tubes, and paint tops, which have been painted out to lose their identity. And what would it cost a buyer? Um, you can have it for 20 pounds. This exhibition is regarded by art experts as being quite the most important and the most excited has been mounted in Cork. Mr. Gerald Goldberg, as a governor of the National Gallery, is this because it's been so much a break from the conventional or is it because of its particular merit? It is an exceptionally meritorious exhibition and it is also a break from the conventional insofar as our experience in Cork City is concerned. It has, uh, more than that, it has the merit that two young artists who are prepared to think have the ability as well to express themselves in modern forms, in forms of constructionist works, in photomontage, 
in collage and in representation in works, uh, bringing together a, a, an exhibition which we in Cork are not used to, and indeed uh, paying us far more tribute than I think we deserve as, as uh, lovers of art. Officially, is this regarded as a transient thing, or has something concrete been done to encourage the work of the young artists? Well, it's certainly not transient, because uh, it is uh, the forms of art which are used by the two young artists have been in use for many years. And it certainly is being encouraged uh, in Ireland and in Spur. Uh, one recalls the uh, Macaulay Fellowship, which has been in operation in Ireland for some years, and which has brought to the front young Irish artists with exceptional talent and ability, especially in the use of constructionist methods in uh, sculpture, and likewise young painters whom we might never have had the opportunity of seeing or hearing about without the opportunity that such a fellowship has afforded to them. So I think we can say that it is being encouraged in the same way as representation in art is being encouraged in this country and certainly elsewhere.